It's time for the 49ers Rush Podcast. Here's your host, John Chapman. What is going on, Faithful? Welcome to another episode of the 49ers Rush Podcast. Now, I know it looks different today because it is. What I wanted to do is step back and basically do one of my Patreon breakdowns uh, that I do every single week. I do two of these, offense and defense. And I thought it would be interesting to share it this week because... We got a glimpse into a lot of undeveloped talent. We didn't have a preseason this year. So we're going to go through, uh, break down the scheme analysis, all those different things. And for my audio-only listeners, I'm going to do my best to bring about kind of a play-by-play and to give you kind of the visualization through my words, if that's a thing, um, of how everybody played and what that looked like. So again, if you want to participate in this, uh, patreon.com, 49ers Rush Podcast, uh, just search it up. It's $8 a month, and you get, as, as soon as you sign up, you get access to everything. Um, so you get videos all the way back from last year. You can go, there's well over 100 hours of video analysis uh, from the 49ers draft prospects. All kinds of different things. Um, And I would be remiss if I did not say Happy Veterans Day. I am recording this on Wednesday. And so just want to say thank you to everybody who has served. Incredible human beings just want to say thank you for your service. So without further ado, let's go ahead. Let's jump in and let's talk some 49ers versus the Packers. This game was not pretty, obviously. But there's a lot of positives to take away from. And the fact that you come into this game (laughs) missing three starters without any extra practices to jump in, it's rough. And there are some positives to take away from this. First off, Richie James. You know, he's going to get just a nice little just quick arrow route right off the outside here. Um, He had an incredible game. Nine catches, 180 plus yards. But it became apparent right off the bat, and I love this about Kyle Shanahan. He scripts plays better than anybody else in the NFL. His scripted series that he comes out is always effective. And you saw move the pocket. You're going to do basically a bootleg, a flow one way. Nick Mullins is going to come out the other way. And just a quick pass, quick bootleg pass. Get them out there. Get them going. Nice catch. That's going to bring you to second and four. So... You started because the Packers scored on their opening possession. You're kind of in the hole. So you got to go out there and you got to make something happen. Second and four, we get a nice little um, couple different things here. We get a motion from Trent Taylor across, which proves they're in man. Then he's going to orbit back to where he came from. So right off the bat, Nick Mullins is going to see, okay, we're in man coverage. Now, where is he looking? He, He wanted to go... He did go deep. Uh, Probably shouldn't have, but he's going to chunk it deep anyway. Richie James just runs basically a deep corner route, you know, attacks the seam of the field, and then a lot of holding there. That probably should have been a penalty. You can see the the corner grabbing his jersey and not let him get any separation. I think that happens probably on most plays. But it's interesting here that Mullins let it freaking fly. He had a wide-open tight end. About 15 yards dragging across. Watch Ross Dwelly here. Is it Dwelly? No, it's not. That's Craycraft. So Craycraft, the receiver on the right side, you know, he's just going to run a deep drag route, or some people call it a deep dig, but he's wide open. Uh, Unfortunately, Mullins was locked in on Richie James and did not see it. A huge miss there. You do like that he's taking shots deep. That's a positive. But, yeah, his his vision is not his specialty. The offensive line, incredible job on this play. Um, they're going to basically max protect, and there's a lot of guys <laughs> coming at them. But incre- let's time it real quick, just the snap. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,000. I mean, you're right at about 3.8 seconds to get this ball out. Incredible job by the offensive line across the board. Even school, 
um, who had a terrible game. Gosh, how much we love Trent Williams, right? It took one half to realize <laughs> how important he was. And, and probably one of the most important things about this game, it's Daniel Brunskill at center. We made the transition. We moved Brunskill from guard to center which he's only played once before in his entire life, and he played incredibly well. Um, you can see him kind of regain his footing here. He's going to get kind of double swiped over, but he regains it with his athleticism and quickness. Now, the right guard, Tom Compton, was pure trash all game. Um, he gets replaced rather early, um, and so we're going to get to see the rookie, Colton McKivitz, in the second quarter. Not bad here, actually, by Compton. Uh, Mike McGlinchey at the right tackle position has improved and improved and improved as this year has gone on. He had a couple really poor performances um, in pass protecting, but make no mistake, Mike McGlinchey is the best run blocking offensive tackle in the NFL, according to Pro Football Focus. Uh, he he gets the movement. He just has one or two kind of bad pass protections each game that he's got to fix. Um, all right, so now you're third and four. Not where you want to start out, but you've got to make something happen here. And we had to burn a timeout also before this, which was problematic. Oh, it was there. Oh, it was there. All right. So we get our motion across. And so we know they're in man coverage. Okay. Uh, and he's going to look just basically, we're almost running just underneath. That should have been at the sticks. So this is a poor route here. By Jordan Reed, um, you know, I don't, I don't know if he got hurt or what, but he didn't play mu most of the game. Here's the problem with this route: he has to hit it at the sticks. So you can see right here currently, the first down is right at the 41. He stops his route at the 41, which is fine, but then he just slowly drifts. You can see him drifting towards the quarterback, which isn't a bad thing. But if you're going to do that, you have to stop your route a little bit further up because he's going to get tackled with, you know, <laughs> no extra yards after catch. And now it's fourth and one. Just a poor route. Uh, you, you've got to run that route at the sticks. That's all there is to it. And because, you know, Jordan Reed didn't do that, now it's fourth and one. And you don't want to punt it. I mean, you don't want to punt it on fourth and one. But yeah, you can see just he just didn't run the right route. Everybody thinks they got it, but they didn't. And that's going to be it, man. That's going to do it for the first drive. They punt on the next series. All right, let's jump to the next drive. Here we go. And again, you can kind of see the score here. 7-0. Defense did their job. You're all right. Still in the game at this point. Also of note, there was zero rush attempts on that first drive. Uh, that's problematic, to say the least. All right, come out with the outside toss. Uh, let's see how, I think this is Craycraft here, how he blocks on the edge. It's going to stem block. Not bad, not bad. Um, so where, let's go to our other angle here. Uh, just going to get an outside toss to McKinnon. Man, great block there by Mike McGlinchey. Pancakes his guy. Um, you know, they kind of double team him and Dwelly. That's much more Dwelly than it is McGlinchey. They're going to combo block on the end and then work up. It was there. We just didn't get the backer. The backer overplayed it. Oh, it wasn't the backer. It's number 94 right here. Yeah, Tom Compton just got owned. So Tom Compton's job, this is the outside zone toss. His job is he has to cross the helmet, cross the hat of this defender here. It's a reach block. So you don't have to necessarily move him. You just have to get in between him in the outside zone. So as he goes, okay, now your head up. Now you've got to cross. You've got to cross. You just got to get your head on this side, and Compton's never he, – he never gets there. He gets owned, and so that puts him right there in the gap where this play's supposed to go. Now you could say perhaps he could cut back, but there's a trailing defender there too. Now if you want to see the way that this is supposed to be done, watch the center. And you can see the difference between Tom Compton uh, not doing it correctly and watch Daniel Brunskill at the start of this snap. Watch this lateral step he takes. And you can see, look at that. You see how his hat, his helmet is on the other side of this linebacker that's lined up in the A-gap. So that's a win right there. And he's going to seal off even. So that's he's doing extra. But the problem is right here. You can see the helmet on the outside. 
um, working to get the helmet on the outside. This just this just isn't it. Tom Compton's going to cost us this play here. Man, not only does man watch watch Brunskill here. It's going to combo block here. He's going to set up Lakin to scoop underneath, and then he's going to get off to the linebacker as well. Man, that is just great freaking football right there by Daniel Brunskill. You want to look for a positive in this game? This is it. Good Daniel Brunskill be the center of the future. Um, very cheap option. Man, that is that's a hell of a play right there. Awesome play. All right, second and seven. Only got three yards on it. Um, but let's see what we got here. All right. Oh, quick. No motion, no anything. They liked what they saw. And boom, you like it. You, you love to see it. Deep crossing route here to Richie James. And he just goes, he goes off. So very rare do the 49ers come out and just snap it on first sound, especially on second and seven. This is interesting. Now we're in a pro twins. You got a tight end and a wide receiver. So this is the pro side. That's a pro formation. Twins on this side. You got two wide receivers. What did they see that they liked? Um, looks like they're in kind of a zone coverage here. Yep, they're just going to pass him off. And man, everybody was open on this one. <laughs> you watch Craycraft hitting the seam up the middle. That was open. And man, everybody's just peeking in the backfield for the Packers secondary. Nice route here. Watch up top, Richie James, cross his face, and then replace under. Nobody went with him. Man, that's very, very nice. Um, I think that's Jarek McKinnon's going to suck the linebackers up as well, him and Dwelly, and just creates this huge pocket. Incredible catch. He catches the ball, Richie James, at the 42. And he just, <laughs> he's not even 100% this game. But again, he catches it at the 42 and just starts to make moves. Uh, he, he is explosive. That is a hell of a play and wonderful yards after the catch, which you know Kyle Shanahan loves. But you got to go back to the real reason why this play was so successful, the offensive line. This is incredible. That's a five-man blitz. That's a blitz. And look at all the time that Nick Mullins has to throw the ball. Nobody's even close to him. Nobody's close. Let's count it down. Um, here we go. Let's see at the snap. 1,002, 1,003, 1,004. That's over four seconds, and nobody is close to him. Let's watch McGlinchey out here one-on-one. -on -one. Amazing. Tom Compton, great job. Uh, let's see how Brunskill handles the blitzing linebacker. Great job. Man, he is owning that guy. This is incredible. Even school. Well, <laughs> school almost got beat. He got lucky there. Uh, we got to see Lakin here. He's stepped up his game, man. He's back to 2019 form, Lakin out here. That's an incredible play. And if Nick Mullins is your quarterback, you give him that much time, you're going to get a lot of successful plays. That was huge. 43-yard play right there. All right, first and 10 at the 34 here. Same formation, pro twins. Motion dwelly across. You can tell they're in man coverage with their linebacker. Nice start and stop there. Ooh, get him, Jet. Jared, let's go to the other angle here. This play is going to be stuffed completely. You know, this this is going to be on Brunskill here. He gets handled by Clark. But luckily, Jet sees it. <laughs> nice little cutback uh, right at the freaking exact time. Incredible job there. Cuts back, and, man, he's just going to make this play out of nothing. You do like Roz Dwelly. Watch Roz Dwelly come on this cutback block, samurai block, block whatever you want to call it. Um, he's going to go against and just take the knee out of the defender. Woo, nice cutback. This should have been a tackle for loss. He gets eight yards out of this. This is what Jerick McKinnon brings much more so than the other running backs that the 49ers have. Woo, like to see that, man. Second and two, we got some things moving. All right, let's go, let's go. We're in field goal range now. Come out in I formation. Motion to basically a double wing set. All right, another motion across. It's our toss. Just set up better run angles. Let's go to our other view here. So we're going to overload this side with a double motion. There we go. Ooh, Brunskill getting a pancake block. Let's watch Daniel right here. One-on-one, that's an all-pro nose tackle. Boom. 
<laughs> he loses early, okay? And I think this is kind of what... This is the MO of Daniel Bronskill. He's not a power player. But great job getting his hat across. So this is huge. But Clark's got to bench press him <laughs> to get back into position, okay? And this looks bad. But what happens is Daniel Brunskill just keeps fighting and keeps bringing his feet a little too high, and then he gets low. You see where he, he buckles down and gets low underneath? Kind of trips over the other guy, but I don't care. I'm taking pancake. That's, that's owning this man and turning him into a speed bump. Look at that. Brunskill. Whoo! Man, I like that. That's some physical football from a center. Man, I love that. Lakin, nice block out there. School, not so much. Yeah. Hey, man, you got a first down. You take that, and whenever your center's, you know, pancaking all pro players, pro bowl players, that you love to see it. First and 10 at the 23-yard line. All right, just a flood bootleg. So he's going to have lots of options. You're going to get flow to the left, and then you're going to overload the right side of the field. That's why this is called a flood route. You have your short, you have your, uh, you know, behind the line of scrimmage, your short route, you have your intermediate, and then you have your deep. So you're running four routes, basically targeting, you're stretching the field vertically, um, all on the same side of the field. Now you are, you're supposed to leave this guy, it's just a naked boot, and he has to make a decision. Does he stay with the flat, you know, juice coming out of the flats, or does he come up to the quarterback? And that's the read. If he comes up to the quarterback like he does, Nick Mullins, your job is just an immediate dump it over his head. Just get the ball out, let juice do his thing. Very nice. That's a four-yard gain on first down. Very nice. All right, second and since six here. Oh, got him. <laughs> got him. Um, let's see you're gonna see just got him to jump off sides and so second and six turns into second and one Jamichael Hasty's in the game here on this long drive second and one Ooh, something wasn't right there somebody turned the wrong way watch Nick Mullins here this is gonna be a tackle for loss um, he turned the wrong way the quarterback did um, you, you can see he's like, uh oh, <laughs> something's not right here. Yeah, something wasn't right. But anyway, this is going to be a tackle for loss. Uh, we leave somebody unblocked here. I don't think that was designed. This play, something's not right here. And that, that was a huge missed call or something wasn't right. Uh, maybe I. Maybe Nick Mullins did go the right way. Maybe Hasty went the wrong way, which would explain, yeah, they're not blocking towards that side. He went the wrong way. This is being blocked here. Yeah, it looks like this is where the, the hole is supposed to be, right here. This is a inside zone play where you stretch this way. This is the hole. Uh, I, don't, I don't think Nick Mullins went the wrong way. I think that Jamichael Hasty went the wrong way. Because there's no way you're going to run this to the you know offen to the right offensive right side a gap and not block the defensive end there. Uh, this is probably one of the reasons why Jamichael Hasty didn't get as much playing time this week. Uh, I'm a president of the fan club, but yeah, th this is uh he went the wrong way. That's a busted play. Yeah, look at Nick Mullins. Look, he's like, hey dude, you're supposed to be over here. You went the wrong way. I missed that live. Now third and two. Should have been a first down. Yep, and McKinnon's back in. <laughs> and McKinnon's back in. And McKinnon gets the first down. So that, that's what that was. That was an undrafted rookie going the wrong way. Point of attack. Daniel Brunskill. Holy cow. He's having a game. That's their best defender. He's going against Kenny Clark, their best defender. And he is winning this matchup hands down early on. Nice get off here by Lakin. Gets to the second level. Uh, Justin School, great job here as well in the scoop block. Very good. Ooh, Roz Dwelly gets put on his butt. <laughs> he had a... <laughs> something didn't go right there. Very nice. First down. Now you're inside the 10. We're in the red zone. You got a new set of downs. First and nine from the nine-yard line. High formation set. Motion across. They're in zone coverage. 
Man, they were not playing against the run here. This is... Look at their defensive setup. They are not worried about the run. They've got two deep safety... Well, relatively deep for where you're at. And they're in zone. Uh, they're not really pressing. I mean, you got a seven-man box here. This should have been... Especially in this formation. We're in a big formation. We're in 21 personnel. We've got two running backs. One tight end against, you know essentially a seven-man box you, you can count that safety if you want to but he's backing up you should have ran this damn ball anyway we play action it and drop they're playing perfect coverage for this it should have been audibled everything is completely covered you, you pay attention to you know cray cat cray has got a little bit of a window but not much uh, you don't want to make this pass with a corner that's sitting like that check underneath not going to get much there i mean there's just nobody open now the protection isn't great oh it's fine protection's fine that, that's a bad play call really and a quarterback jimmy garoppolo would have probably audibled out of this they should have been audible out of anyway i uh, should have got a can can call and went to a run play but that's okay let's count the time thousand one thousand two thousand three yeah, that's not that's decent protection. Um, luckily, it was an incomplete pass, and Mullins did take a hit there. But all right, let's see here. Second and nine, motioning across. They're still in zone coverage. They're in the exact same defense. Should run it into this. Richie James, we're going to get it end around. Okay, this is the jet sweep. I wish we would have done it more. He got out there quick. Nice block by Juice. Smart block. He gets a couple of yards. Um, you know, I, I guess five. That's not a couple. That's he got five yards. Very nice. Juice is going to kind of lead the way right here. We're not going to see it in this angle. Hey man, get it. So we use a timeout there. You can see the clock. There's 54 seconds there. I wonder why we use the timeout. It's the first quarter still. Third and four. Come on. Third and four. Let's go. Oh, this is the Craycraft catch, touchdown, drop. <laughs> um, you know, perfect pass. The, look at the angle of Nick Mullins and how he has to throw this. That's not easy. You're throwing it to a point because what you're essentially saying is, look at whenever he lets this go. I'm going to throw this right to the sideline where only my guy can get it. But, I mean, that's not easy. That, that's a difficult pass right there. I mean, he puts it on the money. Uh, Craycraft almost made an incredible catch. But that that's an incredible play from Nick Bolins and River Craycraft. He just dropped it as he kind of fell through. Pass protection was great as well. Great pass, bro. Perfect play call. So you got to settle for a field goal there. But you got points. And with the way things were going at this point, it's 7-3. to three. Your defense just held them again. You're in the second quarter. You just moved the ball at will. So I don't want to say at will, but you, you had a decent drive there. Come out, start with a nice run play, and it gets stuffed right up the middle. Oh, look at this. Uh, already right here, I think this is the first play. Tom Compton got benched already. So this is... Colton McKivitz, um, fifth round pick from West Virginia, getting his first legit game time. And here's the thing: I want to I want to talk about this. McKivitz played way better than Compton, but this is a first start, so don't expect a lot. This is a possible future matchup um, starting combo with Daniel Brunskill at center and Colton McKivitz at right guard. And I love the fact that <laughs> Kyle Shanahan said, "All right, let's go. Uh, let, let's go to the youth. Let's see what he can do." Um, I love it. Man, this should have been a bigger play. They blocked it really well. Ooh, he even got Charlie Warner in there. No, Warner got a good block. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Their linebacker just came in and crashed everything. Man, that's not their linebacker. I think that's their safety. Yeah, you don't account for the safety here. He just... Man, they, they knew this play was coming. It's just a hell of a play by their safety. You got two yards on it, but that should have been a bigger gain. Second and eight. All right, they're in zone. 
Raycraft motions across. You got your outside toss. Oh, it's blocked so well. Oh, it's blocked so well. Incredible. So let's start on the outside. First, Craycraft motions across. They don't come with them. Now we have numbers. Let's see how he gets up to the second level. Go get him. Oh, that's awful. This is poor. Go get him. He just got shucked. Yeah, that's that's a very poor physical uh, attempt by a river Craycraft there. Nice seal here by Richie James. You're going to see how he seals the edge here. And he's smart. You don't deplete that guy. You'll get a penalty. The blindside block. You just get in his way. Man, watch freaking. Oh, let's go. Let's go to the other thing. This is insanity by Mike McGlinchey. And I know a lot of people are really mad at him for this year. This is why he's so good. Not a lot of people can do this. He's going to run his defender six yards upfield and then get the linebacker. He's blocking two guys. Look at this. He's got the defensive end, Mike McGlinchey does. And now he's six yards upfield, and now he's going to get the linebacker as well. Boom. Pass that guy off. Get the next guy. And look at this. He does it so well, he even gets in the way of the safety. He blocked two and a half guys <laughs> on this play. That's that so good by Mike McGlinchey. Kyle Juszczyk leading the way. He's like, there's nobody to block. Man, incredible running play here. Daniel Brunskill, great job. Uh, let's watch uh, 68, the rookie. He's trying to help. Wow, that, that, that's all Mike McGlinchey right there. Good job by Jarek McKinnon. Got the first down as well. That's an 11-yard run. Love to see it. All right, first and 10, offset eye, motion and cross. They're still in zone. Bootleg. Oh, Richie James with the dig route. Very nice. Great pass protection, too. Let's watch the route. Richie James comes off motion. Eats up that space. Runs right into him. This is awesome. This is against Josh Johnson uh, out of Iowa. And, man, he gets into the body and then cuts off. So two things here. One, you could draw a penalty from this contact that you initiated. But then he creates separation off the cut. Nice catch as well. All right, now let's see protection-wise all the way across the line. And there's nobody near him. The offensive line is playing really well to this point in the game. Really, really well. Nobody is anywhere close. Now, it is a max protect. You're blocking with basically everybody. You've got, you know, a tight end. Oops, sorry, wrong button. You've got a tight end and a fullback helping out. Incredible. <laughs> I don't know why Richie James failed to catch this. Keep your feet going. It, it is low, so I don't, I don't mind that. You got the yards. It, it, it's a low pass. You don't want to sell this over the middle. That's Jimmy Garoppolo. But, hey, that's huge. You come out, you get an 11-yard run the play before. Now you just got an 18-yard pass over the middle. You got a nice little drive. You're down 7-3. to three. Let's go, baby. Let's go get the lead. Hasty's back in here. Ooh, look at Kevin White out there, too. A little outside stretch run. Should have been a tackle for loss. And he could have cut. No, he didn't have a place to cut in. He just made him miss. So a hasty stretch to the left side of the, the line, and Justin School just let his guy whiff. Hasty makes a miss, turns it into a positive play. Um, really wish we could get this guy some more work right now. All right, second and six. You're on the other side of the 50-yard line. Things are looking good. Eye formation, toss right. Oh, it's there. Go, baby. Nice. Oh, this is the holding call. Would have been a first down. This is on Richie James. Uh, you'll see him right here. Yeah, he just wrapped. You don't have to do that. On the edge, all you have to do is just slow him down. But he wraps his arms around him. You know, they slow mode it. You, you can tell. Definitely not legit here. <laughs> I don't know why you would hug a player in the back like that. You can see Richie James on the right side right here come in. You don't have to wrap like that. That's the problem. You can see, look at his arms literally hugging him. You don't have to do that. You just have to slow him down. This should have been a huge positive. Nice block by Dwelly out there. This is where he comes out. He was done, that corner. So that's 10 yards. It would have been a first down, and you would have been in field goal range. Instead, you lose 10 yards. 
Now it's second and 16. This offense is not designed with Nick Mullins and all of your backup wide receivers to overcome things like this. And, yeah, this play could have been way worse. Uh, let's see the route combination that we got here. I mean, it was open. But is that Craycraft? Craycraft needs to sit down. This is the difference between a, a seasoned veteran and somebody that's not. This is zone coverage, okay? The rule is in zone coverage, sit down. He runs himself into coverage. If it's man, you got to run. If it's zone, you got to sit. And so he's supposed to get right behind this defender here. You're going to watch the safety. Craycraft is supposed to sit right there. He's open. And the tight end or juice, whoever this is, is going to pull this defender out of the way, and that's the throwing window. This is The 49ers run this play so often. The problem is if Craycraft stopped at the numbers right here, the ball was on point. But he runs himself out, and look at him have to uh, – Nick Mullins throws it where he should be. That's an incredible pass by Nick Mullins. But Craycraft just ran the wrong route because he didn't understand it was zone. He's a little too excited and kind of took himself out of the play here. This is an incredible play by Nick Mullins. Pressure in his face. I mean, the blitz is coming. He stays in the pocket with somebody in his face and throws a dime. The wide receiver just ran the wrong route. You got to make that play. Now, is Colton McKivitz get beat? Yep. This is on Colton here. Nobody initially, but then his guy comes in. It's a delayed blitz to the right. Mike McGlinchey does perfect here again. Passes off the inside threat, which he's supposed to do to take the outside threat. McKivitz just, he never replaced his feet. Watch his feet. His feet stop whenever he engages contact here. Okay, he's just sitting there. He's just sitting there. Nobody's there. That's fine. Replace your feet. Keep going with your feet. Keep going. See how he stops? And look at his leverage. Gets extended out over his toes. So if this right leg, you, you have no power, um, you've got to pick that big hog molly foot up and get it outside of your frame. That's where your base is. So now his base is off, and now he's just in... Hold on for dear life mode. You know, could have called holding early on. But golly, this pass by Nick Mullins was awesome. Craycraft just ran the wrong damn route. Ah! That would have been a first down. That would have been a first. All right, third and 16 now at midfield. And, you know, at this point... You can do whatever the hell you want to do. Just <laughs> you're you're probably gonna punt it, but you can be aggressive here. Oh, not that aggressive. Interception. All right. A lot of bad things here. Let's go to the other angle. This will help us out. I think this is where Justin School just gets obliterated. See here, watch 67 on the left side here. Yeah, he just he just got whiffed. So you got your quarterback killed, and you know I don't really mind Mullins trying to make a play here. It's third and sixteen. You're going to punt anyway, but you can't sky it like this. He does get hit as he throws it. Uh, the sack would have been better, but it should have been a pick six. But here's the problem with School: stops his feet and just does not engage. Whenever he makes contact with the defender, he does a good job, okay, but he doesn't lock on. You've got to keep him in close to you now, or punch him out. The problem is he received the blow. He's too high. And then just gets beat right off the edge, man. Trent Williams is in there. That play doesn't happen. Now, in no way, you know, go back to the wide angle here. Even if he's able to get this pass off to Jarek McKinnon, that's not going to be a first down. But it sure isn't going to be an interception with, you know, a 20-yard return. It was 7-3 to three at that point. It was 7-3 to three at that point. The next time we get the ball, it's 14 to 3. That's a whole different ball game. And it, now you're starting to question your quarterback's getting hit. The left tackle, let's see how he responds. So, first and 10, starting this drive at the 25. Love it. Come out with a, a run play. And man, I think Brunskill gets beat on this one. It's just a zone to the offensive left side. Let's watch Brunskill center. He crossed his face. Yeah, that was great. He, he got there. I don't know. This is why. This is a bad run by the by the running back. Hasty. You know, they came out. 
going to give him a shot. It, this is an outside zone block. I don't know what he saw that said cut back here. He shouldn't have done that. Here's the hole. This is where he's supposed to be going, right here. Um, he bailed on this play early. I, I think Hasty. That's not on Daniel Brunskill. Uh, this is just a cutback. He read it wrong. You now you only got one yard on there. Let's see if he's still in there the next play. Yeah, he's still out there. Okay, second and nine. You got an eye formation with the tight end. Motion across to a twin set. A double set, not twin, sorry. Checks it down. All right. It's not ideal. It seems like they were wanting to do something out here. Running a fade route. He had it. That's a good route by Richie James. You could have thrown the fade over here. You didn't have safety help. But I think the pressure got to him a little too much, and he, he started to feel the pressure and just check it down. You don't mind the check down there. Nothing wrong with this play at all. Decent blocking, though. All right, third and six. All right, you got trips to the right. Man, no motion. Oh, my God, that should have been intercepted. That's the worst pass. This is the bad pass. So it, you want to get upset with Mullins, this is where you do it. One, I hate how you didn't motion beforehand um, just to guarantee. It looks like they're playing zone. It's, it's a zone coverage. Um, but, yeah, why are you attacking this route? Is that Jordan Reed? I think it is Jordan Reed. And that is just... You don't throw this route if there's only these two guys. You sure as hell don't throw this route. Man, this is just bad. Stared him down the whole time. Should have been an interception. So you come out and you go three and out. And again, you can just see how that interception changed everything. Now it's 21 to three. You were going to take the lead, and then you have a couple negative plays, starting with that holding call. And then it just kind of snowballs into just this huge insurmountable lead at this point. It really felt like the 49ers were already done. All right, here we go. We got a motion across zone coverage. He is wide open. Richie James is wide open down the field. And he just can't get it there. Wide open. And that should have been a big play. Did he get hit or did it get tipped? Yeah, he got drilled. Yeah, this should have been touchdown. But you know, let's see on the left side, 67, Justin School. Oh, my God, that's embarrassing. They're even giving him help. <laughs> it's not like they're just leaving Justin School on an island. Ross Dwelly bumps the, the defender right into him. That is just, golly, man, he just gets way too high. Oh, that's embarrassing. That, was, that should have been a touchdown. That should have been a touchdown. Second and 10. You know, you scheme up certain plays like that that you can take, you know, four to five times a game, and that was drawn up perfectly. Uh, Justin School, left tackle, just again, another, again, his quarterback obliterated. Just a quick stop route. Supposed to get out of bounds there. <laughs> Minute 41. Yeah, Craycraft gets the catch, but nice tackle there. Third and five. We use a timeout there. I like how we're trying to be aggressive. It's just not going to work, unfortunately. <laughs> but they're trying, dang it. Third and five. Checks it down, and it's incomplete there. And that's going to do it for the second quarter. Now, um, we're going we're gonna to keep going. I, for those of you that, that we do this every uh, twice a week, baby, every single play that we got, we're going to do. But real quick, I do want to get a quick word in from our sponsor, my bookie, and then we'll break down the second half after that. Unless you've been living under a rock, you know the NFL and the NBA, they're back. They're in full swing, which can only mean one thing. It's a winning season at my bookie. I don't know about you guys, but for me, a game is 10 times more exciting whenever I'm putting my money on it. And if you've been betting with us, we've been doing very, very well so far this year. So stick with us. Bet on it. Use all the knowledge that we have. And let's be successful. And here's the deal. Right now, they have $100,000. You heard me. $100,000 super contest for only $10 entry. 10 bucks. 
You can win all that money. They're giving away $5,000 in cash prizes every four weeks. You would be crazy not to jump in there with all your knowledge. $10 to win thousands. Sign me up. You too can make up and sign up at my bookie. And here's the deal. Use promo code 49ers, 49ERS, to claim your 100% deposit match all the way up to 1000 bucks. That means you put in $100, they're going to give you $100. Rollovers will be included in that. And if you have questions, please call their customer service. They'll help you with that. But the NFL, NBA, MLB, they've got it all on tap. It's never too late to get started. And if you've wanted to jump in with us, now's the best time. Head to mybookie.ag. Promo code 49ers, and they're going to double your initial deposit. Thanks for the support, my bookie. All right, let's get back to some more play time. Down 21 to 3. You get the ball first coming out in the second half, and let, let's see the adjustments that were made by Kyle Shanahan because, again, he's great at the start of games and he's great at the start of the second half, usually. It's the other times that gets bad, and this could have gotten, I mean, you're talking pick six, play one. Just a heck of a play made by the defensive end, man. <laughs> it gets his paws up here. Supposed to be throwing just a little curl route, basically, right behind him. And he got lucky there. That could have been, that could have been bad. All right, second to ten. Twister formation. We got two backs. We're going to motion juice out. And Dwelly. Well, he's open. Not now, he's not. Um, so good and bad. All right, good here. Nick Mullins is going to actually go through his read progression across the field. You don't see this very often. He looks to the right, doesn't like what he sees. Uh, coverage was relatively good across the field. He had a couple options. You don't want to throw it to the curl in double coverage there. So this is what Nick is seeing. The curl was there if you anticipated throwing it a little bit. You could have hit the out route here. Just that's fine. Uh, the fade is definitely not there. Okay, so you can see Nick is looking to the offensive right side of the field. He doesn't like what he sees. Now it's time to go back. Um, so now he's going to go to the left side of the field. What does he see here? You could have thrown this this right here. This is good position right here, especially with the corner. I don't know what he's doing. Instead, he's going to check it down to Dwelly. Just waited too long. But the pass protection is great. He's got time to get through those reads. That's incredible. Great job up front. Oh, is Compton back in there? He sure is. Seems like they're rotating quarters at this point. I, I didn't pick that up, pick up on that live. I hate how you can't see the offensive numbers, offensive lineman numbers in the broadcast view. Great pass protection, though. Oh, we got a penalty on that one. Okay, there was a defensive holding there, and so, awesome. So, first and 10. Offset eye, just toss. Oof, man, that safety came out of nowhere, didn't he? Good Lord, you're going to see him just screaming. All right, so as as we continue on this, here you go. Yeah, man, that safety just came out of nowhere. Good Lord. <laughs> you can't ask, is that Kevin White out there? Kevin White can't block this guy. <laughs> that's that's not, <laughs> um, you're, you're not supposed to do that. That's a block in the back for sure, but he tripped it up anyway. That safety just blew up the play. That's all there was to it. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Kevin. You're not going to make that play. That's not on you. All right, second and 11 after that. Freaking heck of a play by safety. Play action, school gets beat. Great play by Nick Mullins. Golly. Watch how he is able to escape this pressure. God, that's just trash performance there. Now let's see if that cost us a bigger play because he had to check down. Oh, my God, it did. Look deep. Look deep. Oh, my gosh. What a difference a tackle makes. Look at this. Look. Oh, my gosh. Just wide open. Wide open. Now the plays, he's already checking it down, but again, what if Justin School isn't trash on this play and he has time to allow this to go? Oh, gosh. Even if the safety doesn't bite on the underneath route, you're one for one with inside leverage. Oh, my gosh. What a difference a tackle makes. And you can watch. Watch the eyes of Nick Mullins. Look, he's looking deep. He's looking deep. 
look where his eyes are. Look, look at that head. He's looking deep. This is where we're going. Right there, baby. That's where he's looking. But the pressure took his eyes down. Oh, gosh, you hate to see. Ah, oh, third and five. What a missed op. So many missed opportunities. Third and five. Trips right. Quick pass. I like it. More quick passing. Terrible pass. All right. So this is a couple issues here. Again, more miscommunication between the wide receivers and the quarterback. Wide receivers right here. This is Trent Taylor ran it correctly. Um, you're going to get zone coverage. And so his route, he has two options. Okay, This is a wide receiver option route. Zone coverage, sit down. Man coverage, keep running. But because it's zone, he's open there. There's the pocket. You sit in the pocket. He sees the defender there. You sit down. Nick Mullins, however, throws it as if he's going to continue his route and throws him kind of into coverage. Probably still should have been caught. But Nick Mullins should have won. What, where was he looking? He's looking downfield. No. Yeah, I mean, look at he's He's into his throwing motion right there. The ball should have set. His target should have been right at the inside of the numbers. Look where he throws it, outside of the numbers. Throws it to the inside of the numbers. He's catching the ball here instead of there. Nick Mullins just had a bad read. That would have been a first down. That would have been a first down. Watch it from the backside. Protection's decent. Not great. McGlinchey gave up a little too much space, but you're not getting your quarterback hit. Is that Tom Compton? That's pretty good. Oh, yeah. He locked him up. Watch him with the over-under move. Look at that. <laughs> Look, he just grabbed the back of his jersey. You don't block horizontally like that. My head doesn't go that far that way. Uh, but, hey, man, he stood there. Should have been a holding call, but uh, I'll take it. Good job by school there. But, yeah, you come out and, you know, you just misread. That's all that was. You just didn't read the defense. Now it's 28-3. to three. So you, you kind of you just dug yourself in a hole. Negative plays kept adding, kept adding. You missed two wide open deep shots. Ah, first and 10. Outside toss. Ooh, nice cutback. This is Jarek McKinnon just creating on his own. Okay, cool. We got Colton McKivitz back in. I like it. Okay, outside toss. He didn't like what he saw there. Let's see what he didn't like. Could he have gotten outside? The rule in the outside zone says if you see a hat, exit out, right? So, again, from the perspective of Jarek McKinnon, you want to go to the outside. But because you see this helmet outside, you're not going to attack there. Could have hit inside the hole here, but, man, he chose just to check it all the way back. Whoop! That's just, that's uncanny right there. Come on, go block. <laughs> Look at Jordan Reed. Watch Jordan Reed. <laughs> he stops. He's like, uh, there's nobody to block. <laughs> I don't like people that watch football. You know, Jordan Reed's not, you'll see him here, number 81. Uh, he's not a run blocker. That's uh, You're looking at the guy. Go get the guy. You're looking at him. But watch him stop and look. He literally holds his hands out uh, <laughs> and then doesn't help. He literally watches his guy get hit and doesn't do anything. Um, come on, Jordan. You're better than that. man. <laughs> uh, we laugh because we don't want to cry. It's what it is. Second and two. All right, we got a twister set here. We're going to motion across. Okay, they're in zone coverage here. Cut back block. Ooh, man, Jarek McKinnon working. It, it, it sucks whenever you have to work this hard for two yards. But completely just makes this guy whiff. Oh. What the heck, man? Why are we not touching this guy? Good job by Jet. Good job by Jet. Great play. All right, first and ten. Yeah, that was second and two, and he got the first on that. That was all Jarek McKinnon in the last two plays. First and ten. Trips right. Come on, get the ball out. Ah, why do you wait so long? All right. So let's see the routes here. Gosh, Welly's just so slow. Welly had a good game overall. He really, really did. But, I mean, look at this wide, this tight end release. Looks like he's running in mud. I mean, 
come on, you got to get there. I mean, it almost looks in slow motion. Yeah, that that's this is a bad play. And that was a personal foul right there. He can't slam him on his head. Come on, man. Not cool. First and ten. So we got a little bit of leeway there with the penalty. Um, but this has been an all Jarek McKinnon drive. He motions out. We got an empty set. Oh, just in school. This is the sack fumble. All right. And the, now let's see before we get to the pressure what we missed. Um, where was he looking? He's looking down the middle of the field. That's covered. He's going to throw. He's going into his throwing motion. I don't know what he's looking at. Everything is completely covered. Can't throw it here. Can't throw it there. Let's see here. Let's go to the backside. What is he looking at? There's the motion out. I don't know what he was throwing to. What does he see? Right there. So he's in his throwing motion before he gets drilled. I guess he's trying to throw here. That's dangerous. But yeah, you just see Justin School. I mean, stops his feet. Watch him. Watch the technique. Watch his feet moving. Okay. Pass set looks great. Pass set looks great. Pass set looks great. And then stops his feet. You don't stop your feet at the point of contact. Then he gets his weight out over his toes. Now he has no heels in the ground. If you're a tackle or an offensive lineman engaging with a defender and you don't have your heels, at least one heel in the ground, you don't have enough cleats for power. <laughs> the more cleats in the ground, the more power you have. He has none. You have no power here. Lord of the Rings shout out. And just gets clobbered. Ah, that's a turnover. All right. Let's find some positives here late in this film. We're not breaking down defense today. Let's go to offense. Come on. Here we go. All right, we got Trey motion across. They're just in zone. Two deep safeties here. Oh, no, they're walking one of the safeties up. And we run right into... Yeesh. This just did not work. I like that we're running the ball, but Lakin just whiffed. We've got a pooler coming across, and he's supposed to pick up the outside threat, Lakin. And he just completely missed it on the hash on the opposite side this is amazing defensive end outside linebacker play go with the down block and watch this guy wrong shoulder it okay what i mean by that is you see how he gets skinny they're trying to run it through this seam right here through this crease so the defender gives him the left shoulder and goes right into the gap that's incredible play by the defender there and just blew the whole play up oh lakin Second and 10. We got an offset eye. We're in 21 personnel. Two backs, one tight end. Motion across to a double, to a twin set. Ooh, there we go. Nice little catch there. You know it's zone because nobody came with them. You know it's zone coverage. Just a quick little, basically, wide receiver screen. Good job by Craycraft out here. Good job by Craycraft. Nice block. Stay with them. Good. Oh my gosh, look at that block out there. You can talk trash about Justin School. Justin School, what's up, big dog? Look at this block, 30 yards downfield. Whew! You love to see it. You love to see it. It's not all negative. He was awful in pass pro, but this is incredible and in why he is a fit in Kyle Shanahan's system. He's just got to clean up the edges. Ooh, man, that's incredible. Great play by Justin School. And then Richie James. He's got some speed to him now. He's got to start getting more work as the wide receiver three. I think KB should be the wide receiver three, but I want that split. I want him rotating series. Especially with KB out with COVID still. And look at him just go. That's awesome. <laughs> that's a 47-yard gain on a wide receiver screen. Nice play, Justin School. All right, almost done with the third quarter. I formation here. All right, motion and out. Yep, we ran this play in the first half. You basically give them a balanced look. Okay, you come out in a balanced look right here. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to change your numbers. Okay, so right now the strength is the offensive left side. 
because you have a tight end, even though it's Kyle Juszczyk, and you have a fullback, even though it's Dwelly. But what's going to happen is, through a double motion set, you're going to basically flip the offensive strength of the field, and because they're in zone, it's going to give you numbers. So, for example, if you, if you just draw a line okay, down the middle of the field, okay, you have one, two, three, four defenders to the right side of the center. Okay, But how many blockers do you have? You have one, two, three. But watch what happens through the series of two moves. There's one move, and then you've got the motion. There's two, okay? So now count. So, again, you, you only had beforehand. This is why Kyle Shanahan's so great. You had three blockers for four defenders. Now, after the double motion, now you have one, two, three, four, five blockers for one, two, three, uh, four defenders it, it, it's integers right <laughs> you're adding more guys to the strength than they had now the play is not going to go great but that's okay <laughs> it, you can see why these things work um was this mike mcglinchy yeah you can see it on the edge he doesn't get to the outside he's got to reach this defender and he comes so hard upfield he doesn't get his hat across and he grabs his jersey can't do that on the edge they always see the edge couldn't get across and got beat there, too. <laughs> so we had the numbers, but they played it very, very well. Yeah. Ooh, look at that block right there. Who's that on the outside? Is that Richie James? Go to the wide angle. No, it's Craycraft. I gave him a hard time for his blocking effort earlier. This is nice. Very good. I like to see it. So you got the holding call now. It's first and 20. Ah, come on, man. Why, why do we have to have these negative plays that just stop us? Um... You got to get rid of these penalties. Ooh, nice little. That was nice. Look, look at him. The offensive line here on the inside does a heck of a job. Look at that throwing window. Whew. Post up, Dwelly. He was moving in slow motion earlier. Much better. Got out quick. Catch it. Get up field. Nice drop step. All right, that's the end of the third quarter. So now we're into the fourth quarter here. Not necessarily paying attention to the score. You're just you're trying to see the development of the players, the play call, because uh, these guys don't get snaps usually. And that should that was a nice pass. That was a nice pass. Trent Taylor, oof, golly, so bad, so bad. Let's see here. Do you have a chance at it? Eh. Oh, he's tugging at his jersey a little bit. Pass was a little out. A little too far out. All right, third and ten. Come on. Got to make this count. Make it count. Motion across. They're in zone. Going to orbit motion back. Craycraft. Wide receiver screen. Oh, it's there. Nice. This was a bad spot, man. That should have been a first down. Gosh, he's crushing it. Nice block here by Trent Taylor. Oh, if we would have stayed with it. Look at Lakin getting downfield. And look at Justin School. The kid's got a lot of strength. He just passed protection for a tackle in one of them. Good job by these two guys. And nice run. Should have been a freaking first down. Just don't see how they spotted it where they did. Yeah. So fourth and one. Um... Come on, go get it. Quarterback sneak. This is not how it's done. All right, let's go to the other angle. He had it. The problem is he stands freaking up. Uh, Jimmy Garoppolo's a elite at this because, again, what you have to do is you have to decrease all space between you and the center. You basically got to be a freaking koala, and you got to crawl on this dude's back. I know that they crawl on the front, I think. I don't know. Anyway, but look at all this space between your center and yourself, that's going to allow the defender to get in there, as he does, and pop him. you got to go down here with him, and you drive your feet way too high. This is all on Nick Mullins. Great push. You got push. You only need one yard. This is all on Nick Mullins. It's too high, and he gets popped in the face for it. Get your shoulders down. Get your shoulders down. That's on Nick Mullins. That's a turnover on downs. You know, you, you, you go 0 for 1 on 4th down. 
which, again, look at Jimmy Garoppolo. He's never missed one of those quarterback sneaks. It's like perfect through two years. It's a skill. It's a skill. Empty formation. Boom, baby. Ross Dwelly. You love to see it. Has a busted coverage by somebody. Dwelly's just going to run a seam route. Almost a wheel route. He's going to widen just a little bit. Basically, four verts. He runs a poor route. <laughs> We're running four verts right here. You can see one, two, three, four, right? And so <laughs> I don't know why he widened so much, but it worked. Gets the catch and goes and gets it. Like to see that, man. See what happened with pass protection. Compton's back in there. This just goes to show you, you don't have to hold the ball for seven seconds, throw it deep. This is a deep pass. How long did it take him to get the ball out? 1,001, 1,002, two and a half seconds. <laughs> that's, I mean, shoot, that's a huge play. That's 36-yard pass. Very nice. All right, first and 10. Huge play there. Like to see that. Come out, twister formation, motion uh, juice out wide. So now you got trips right. Decent pass protection. Ooh, ooh. Quarterback got killed. So what you're going to see here is uh, Hasty's going to step up and help, but you just, you had a, Lakin missed. He didn't even touch this guy. Yeah, you got to step up and help a little bit more than that. Hasty put his body on the line. He's just got to get there sooner. You made contact. You got to eat that grass. You can't wait. You got to go. You got to make contact up, right? So you could see here. Look where Hasty's feet are. This is a rookie mistake. Okay, He starts off at our 49-yard line. Look at his feet. You have to eat grass. And what that means is you got to reclaim this territory and you have to initiate contact up closer away from the quarterback. So he sits there and look where he initiates contact at the 49. You can't do that. By that time, this 300 pound beast has a head of steam and you are not 300 pounds. You are catching at that point. You have to attack and help faster. That's a mistake there by Hasty. As quarterback drilled and killed the play. Second and 10. All right, trips. Going to motion the tight end back across. Looks like we have zone coverage. Get our running game. Go. Ooh, nice block. Should have got more yards on that one. Hasty had a bad day. Boom. Very nice. Who is that? Is that Dwelly? Yep, sure is. Very nice. Oh, gosh, should have been there. Trent Taylor missed his block. Dang it, Trent Taylor. Come on, man. Pick one of them. This is a poor block there. You pick this guy up right here. You got, you're got you in business. Oh, got three yards. It should have been more. All right, third and seven. Zone coverage. Oh, no, they doubled. They doubled. They doubled Craycraft on this play. <laughs> You could tell that they were waiting for the Brandon Ayuk. It's his spot right there, right? So they're double, double teaming this guy, and they're not supposed to. This is why you do these little bitty motions. They got confused here. One of these guys had to stay with the outside guy. They both take the interior guy. That's not supposed to happen there. This is, again, Kyle Shanahan. This is why you motion. Should have passed it off there. But look at this, Richie James. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Whoop. Nice move. Nice move. Look at that. Wide open. <laughs> Imagine being a defender thinking, gosh, we got to double team this Craycraft guy. He's so good. <laughs> oh, that's incredible. Nice move to get the touchdown. And again, Nick Mullins, let's watch his eyes. He's looking to the middle of the field. Oh, nobody's over there. Nice touchdown. You love to see it. You love to see it. Somewhat of a respectable score there, 34 to 10. No, it's not respectable. It's not. I was wrong. <laughs> Empty set. Motions out of the backfield. Quick pass. I like it. Look at the patience here, man. 
Watch Derek McKinnon catch it and realize I got to wait for my blockers. Catches it. You can turn on. You can take off. But watch how patient he is and just waits. Whoop. Lunch, he didn't do much with the experience. <laughs> did you see? Did you see Mike? Watch Mike. Man, go outside. Go outside. <laughs> but Glitchy is like, he's like, I'm blocking him inside. Look at this. He, he tries to get outside. He does. Watch him, Mike. Go outside. <laughs> That's hilarious. You get you like see him say it. Let's watch McGlinchy here. Like I'm blocking him outside. <laughs> That's awesome. We can laugh now, right? Right? Are we allowed to? All right. First and ten. You got the first down. But again, you're going for the touchdown. Hasty's in, motioning back to an empty set. Ooh, nice route, Richie. Ooh, nice route. Watch this. Whoop. Look at this slow stem. Slow stem, out route. Nope. Gosh, man, he just, he abused this guy right here. This is nice. Oh. Very nice. Richie having a day, baby. See if you can see it on the outside. If the, I think it's going to cut it off. Don't take this from me. Oh, there it is. Oh, God, that's so good. Watch him just bite outside. He has to. His rules are to be the flat defender there because you have safety help over the middle. But still, man. Ooh. <laughs> just, he's gone. Two-minute warning. Very nice. All right, here we go. All right, we got a screen set up. Set up nice. Oh, maintain that block. Go hasty. Man, that was a good play. That was set up so nice. Maintain this block, Lakin. Gave him his back. I hate that. Smart play right here. Gosh, watch Roz Dwelly. I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. 60, I think. Is that Brunskill? No, Brunskill. Oh, my gosh. Brunskill killed a guy. Boom. Very nice. Elite. That's, that's Compton. Yeah, that's Compton. That's very smart. He, he totally could have got a penalty on this play. And this is what the NFL, they're going to use this as coaching tape, not to blindside players. That That's what the NFL wants people to do. You lower your shoulder and hit that guy, that's a 15-yard penalty. That's what the NFL wants right there. Hasty catches it. Man, that play could have been huge. Ugh. God, this play should have went to the house. Nice block. He got back up and made the play. All right. Second and three. Oh, we're moving it. Check down. Smart, smart, smart. Nothing wrong with that. I mean, they're in their prevent defense. I understand that, but it doesn't matter. These are still live game reps for a lot of guys that don't get live game reps. And it builds confidence until... Until... You get your quarterback just killed... They're going to overload blitz this, and golly, man, this is just so bad. Tom Compton, what are you doing? Mike McGlinchey, what are you doing? Okay, so here's the rules. Okay, now I don't know if there was a fan block called or whatever. I mean, it's an overload blitz. You've got five guys coming. He has to pass, so here's the problem. You have to understand the numbers to this. And so this is a this is a center issue that goes everywhere, okay? Once you're here, his eye his head has to pivot. You've got to pass him off. Brunskill has to take him. Compton has to take him. McGlinchey has to take him. And you can watch Mike McGlinchey and understand what you're supposed to do. You got to check the inside guy and get to the outside guy. Okay? So this is right. This is correct currently, but the problem is Compton doesn't relay it and neither does Brunskill. So now you've got one guy blocking two. The rules say he has to be responsible for the outside threat because if you go back to pre-snap, you have your back on the opposite side and he's releasing. So that's going to tell him you're responsible for the outside threat. The problem is the center over this is on Brunskill, this is on Compton, and Mike McGlinchey doesn't even pick up the outside guy. He picks up nobody. Um, and so th this is just bad all over the place. Leads with his head. Gets your quarterback killed. Um, 
Luckily, we got a penalty, but still, shouldn't have happened. Just, just misinformation up front. Uh, that's part of just having Brunskill's first game starting at center. Ooh, nice. Go. Oh, I should have stayed inside. Should have stayed inside. He catches it there. Look where everybody's blocking. Um, I don't know if he could have. Yeah, Mike McGlinchey got out there. I should have stayed inside. But you had to stop the clock, too. We oh, we used a timeout there, so I guess it didn't matter. There's 39 seconds left. Come on, game pass. Here we go. All right, second and six. 39 seconds left. Nice. Nice anticipation throw there. Nice catch, too. That's a nice little pass. Go, Craycraft. Get you some. All right, first and eight. Get out of the pocket. Ooh. Let's see what happened up front here. Golly, he's so bad at football. What the heck is this, man? It's overcompensating for what happened earlier. This is not how you block Tom Compton. Jesus, that's so bad. Luckily, <laughs> Nick Mullins just unblocked defender. No problem. I'll just get out. Gave his guy his chance, but Trent Taylor's not going to pull down much. Second and eight. Come on, come on. Get in the damn end zone. Checks it out. Oh. It just kind of checks it out to the flats. I don't really like the call, but if you look at what else was out there, I mean, not much. This isn't open. This maybe. That's not. That's not. Yeah, check it down. Let your guy make a play in space. He got close. He got close. Down to the one. Get in the end zone. Come on, man. Get in the end zone. Make this happen. Come on. Motion and across. They're in zone. Gave ourselves numbers. Get in the end zone. Touchdown, baby. Jarek McKinnon. We'd love to see it. My fantasy team says thank you. <laughs> nice push there by Lakin. Lakin's going to make this play. Walks two people out of the hole. Very nice. Get a nice cut black block here from Dwelly, too. Did touchdown, baby. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Uh, this is what we do on Patreon. Uh, that's the last uh, offensive play for the 49ers there. Um, I'll be doing the defensive as well, but that's just going to be on Patreon. Again, uh, head over to 49ers or patreon.com. Just type in 49ers Rush. Join the Frank Gore tier, and you get this every week. Um, we do two videos. What are we at? An hour and 12 minutes just going over the offense. We're going to do the same thing for the defense as well. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Leave this in the comments if you have any suggestions, things like that. Just want to say thank you, and as always, stay strong, faithful.